we will see how to send free push notifications using true push. So here I have um, an account that I already have with 10,000 uh, approximately active subscribers. I gathered them all using TruePush, uh, very simple integration on, uh, on my website. And I can uh, then uh, simply contact them with a push notification. So for example, here on the dashboard for your, uh, your website, so you, can, you will have um, one dashboard per website that uses the push notifications. And you can have the last campaign details. So for example, the last one uh, was uh, completed, meaning that all the push notifications have been sent out. So 9,500 push notifications. Um, so 9,300 of them were delivered. 3,000 of these notifications have been viewed and it generated 24 clicks and potential conversions. So if you are after conversions, uh, after uh, uh, bringing uh, leads, uh, creating leads, bringing uh, traffic to your website, push notifications are a good way to do it and it is free with, uh, with, uh, with TruePush. So it is uh, free if we have a look at the pricing, it is uh, free up to uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers, uh, if I'm not, uh, not wrong, and uh, then you pay $29 uh, per, per month, uh, depending on, uh, your, um, uh, on the amount of uh, subscribers you have. So the integration is very simple. If you go to Kodi integration, all you have to do is to download one file, put it on the root folder of your website, add a small code to all your pages, and that's all. And it's over. You have also specific integration for AMP, although very simple. You can also access your subscribers. You have detailed uh, information about where they are uh, from, uh, so which country they subscribed uh, from, and you can also add your own uh, your, your own uh, uh, your own uh, segments uh, if you like. So, okay, here the loading take a little time because I, I have been using them for a while probably, but uh, yeah. So if you go to um, segments, for example, you can define your own segment, so you can create your segment. Uh, so choose a name, uh, eventually add a note and select the property of this segment, so which uh, operating system they were using, which country they, they were visiting your website from when they uh, uh, subscribed, which browser they were using, which day of the week uh, they subscribed or the day, uh, which date, the last um, uh, visit date, the platform they use, uh, the state, the city, or uh, custom one. So in my, uh, in my case, I put a custom one, the full URL, um, and you can select the conditions, so contains and with uh, sub, uh, substring and more. To create your own segments, if you want to contact some specific part of your uh, subscribers, uh, you can also create templates. So if you send regularly some uh, some uh, some offers, some push notifications. So for example, here I have a template for 20% of VPN offer uh, that I sent out automatically every month. Um, in my uh, case, it was not working very well, so I, I stopped it. And you can also have triggers, so you can select uh, when uh, the templates or uh, the push notifications are uh, triggered. So for example, one specific day of the week, uh, day of the month, uh, and more. Uh, yeah. So you can also, uh, if you have RSS files uh, on, your, uh, on your website, it's very simple to use your RSS uh, files to uh, your RSS feeds to create automatically push notifications that will be uh, sent out by a true push to your subscribers. But let's see how to create a simple push notification. So we, all we have to do is go to campaign. Uh, so here you have an overview of all your campaigns. You can see, uh, for example, I'll just open one. So if I open this campaign, I can uh, have a detailed uh, statistics. So how many uh, notification, notifications have reached the recipients, how many have been sent, delivered, how many views, how many clicks, and how many uh, users unsubscribed from this specific campaign. So in this case, it generated 24 clicks. You can also see from which country they come. So the only problem I see with the interface is that it's uh, when you start to have a lot of data, it's a little difficult to navigate and there is no sorting options. For example, here I have uh, visitors from 33 countries. I would like to know the uh, countries that have brought the most uh, uh, the most uh, subscribers, that have the, the most clicks. 
but uh, yeah, so here I would have to navigate uh, one country by country. Uh, yeah, and um, every time I click, also the the length of the of the of the the buttons is changing. So if you want to uh, go far, it's a bit complicated. So actually, they are ordered. They are reverse ordered. So I have most subscribers in France, uh, then uh, in the United States, then in Romania, Thailand, Japan, uh, etc. So you can have detailed statistics. You can also see your browser, the browser statistics of your subscribers. So most of my subscribers were on Chrome or on Edge, and uh, some uh, hour statistic, but um, it might not be so relevant because most of it happened on the time you sent uh, the um, push notifi notification. So all, at all time you have the, uh, the button to create a new campaign. So here I create a new campaign, for example, what I have to do is paste my URL. Uh, so I put uh, the title, uh, 10 uh, ways to uh, earn website revenue, for example. Um, here uh, you also can add a, a message. So for example, here I, I want to promote uh, this uh, blog post. So what you can do uh, simply is to uh, paste, uh, copy paste the first, um, the first paragraph of your, your article or whatever. Uh, yeah, so in this case, it's, it's not very nice. So you can customize your message uh, for uh, up to uh, 140 characters, so pretty much like a, like a tweet. Uh, so here in this case, it's it's not um, it's not so good. So up, let's just take the title and paste this and put one read for more and. After you have done this, yeah, so you have put your uh, page uh, URL, your, the title of your push notification, the message, you can also add a banner uh, image. Um, so what you can do is uh, either, either uh, for example, uh, download uh, the image of your article. So you, you cannot use a new URL, you must have it on your, on your, uh, on your computer. Oh, ah, it's a WebP image, so it's not working here. So here I will just screenshot the picture, save it in my download folder, and now it should be working. Here we go. So, and here you can see that the picture has been uh, added to the push notification. So the pictures must be on your computer, they cannot be remote. So if you want to share your article, it will not automatically, for example, uh, download the, um, the meta image, the open graph image, or the main uh, illustration of your article. So you have to put it manually. And then all you have to, you can choose your audience or either all your subscribers or select them from segment. And you can schedule it if you like or send it now. You have also um, more advanced options. So for example, adding a button, a notification icon, adding a notification data if you want to put your own uh, UTM codes. And you can select if user interaction, interaction is required or not, meaning when they will see the push notification, if they have to manually close it, close the, um, the window, or if it will automatically, uh, autom automatically uh, uh, hide. So if you uh, uncheck this, you might uh, lose less uh, subscribers because um, it might be annoying for some subscribers to have to manually close it. And uh, yeah, so this is the kind of experiment that you can do. And then you have to do is to send the notification and that's all. So it will, the system will uh, think a little in the background, but it's uh, usually pretty fast. Here we go, the campaign has been created and now all you, all you have to do is to wait for results. So it, depending of course on the amount of subscribers or for their, et cetera, it can take a few hours uh, to reach all of them. So the link is in the description, uh, try uh, to push. It's uh, free, uh, easy to integrate on your website and good luck with your conversions.